Well, once again, another disappointing afternoon for Wolves. It's a 1-0 defeat to Crystal Palace. Eight league games without a win now. And, uh, yeah, that was probably one of the worst performances and games that I've watched uh, Wolves in a long, long time. Really, really poor. Really disappointed with that, to be honest. Just so many errors. Didn't do ourselves any favours. And I don't think Nuno did, to be honest, with the... the, what, the I want to say starting lineup, but I mean, the, the lineup itself was Patricio in goal, the back five was Samedo on the left, Keanu Hoover on the right, Cody, uh, Kilman, and Bolly in the middle of, uh, as a free, Matinho and um, uh, Dendonka, sorry, in the midfield, and Neto, uh, Pedenz, and William Jose up front. And it just took us uh, such a long time to get into the game. The first half was poor, really, uh, from both sides. I think both sides will be disappointed with that first half, but. Um, Walls in particular, we were just so sloppy. We didn't really create anything whatsoever. I don't think we had a shot uh, on target or shot on goal at all, really. Um, but, yeah, we struggled to create, but it was just really sloppy. Um, no real final ball there whatsoever. But once again, and it doesn't matter what formation you play, if you have five at the back or four at the back, once again, there is no link-up whatsoever between the midfield and the attack. It is just non-existent, and even in the second half, it was the exact same thing. I don't know what it is, but our midfield are stuck to our defence, and our forwards are the opposite side of the pitch. We're relying too much on the likes of Neto and Pedent. We need a midfielder with a lot of energy there, and I've said it time and time again, who could pick the ball up from the centre half and get us 20 or 30 yards up the pitch. It's just not going to happen. And when you start on the likes of João Matinho, who has been diabolical this season and has not got any legs whatsoever now, alongside Den Donker, who the last couple of games, I think last, last week against Chelsea he was alright, but today he was absolutely woeful. And those two, it just took so long for Nuno to bring either of them off. It was obviously Matinho in the end. But it was, you're not going to win any games when you've got nothing in the middle. Zero, zilch. You know, we need more energy. We need a bigger midfielder. And I would be doing that now for the rest of this weekend. If I was Jeff Shee and co, you've got to be looking in the transfer window. You have to invest. Otherwise, this season is not going to improve. Wolves are not going to get any further in the FA Cup. And we're not going to go any further up in the league. It's just not going to happen. We need fresh legs. We need fresh faces. Because today just wasn't good enough. Crystal Palace, who have been worse than Wolves, arguably, this season, you know, they're, we heard off their fan on the preview, he just wanted the season to end because they've been that bad. We bossed them off the pitch both times at Molyneux this season and today was absolutely woeful. The first half was dreadful from both teams. I think both teams, you know, it was definitely a game that you, you wouldn't want to, you know, it'll be last on match of the day. That's the type of performance it was. But second half, we seemed to speed it up a little bit. We had a little bit more urgency at times, but again, nothing really. Um, and then in the end, Palace scoring. <sighs> The thing is, I say there's no link-up between the midfield and the attack, but when we get counter-attack, the midfield are non-existent. And once again, because there's zero energy there. They had a chance at the end of the first half, uh, again, where Abachiwai should have scored. That was deflected off Cody. They had a chance where Cody won the ball and Zaha went down, where again, that we got countered and the midfield was non-existent. And again, the defending for this as a whole was absolutely dreadful. It's such a half half arse tackle from Dendonka He's just like, oh, he's turned me. Leave it. Bolly again gets turned. And it's just so, it's straight at Patricio. But because there's so many bodies and it's hit with such power, you know, he's, he's seen it so late. But the, the, the effort and desire, again, from this team is non-existent. Um, we had a couple of opportunities on goal. William Jose, again, forced Guaita into a couple of decent stops. You know, albeit you could argue both of them sort of straight at the goalkeeper, but did enough to sort of test him. And I thought William Jose's link-up play was good, but... As a whole, the team was embarrassing. It was a, a dreadful, dreadful performance today. And the the club have got to address it sooner rather than later. And Nuno has got to address it. Um, you know, the, he's gone back to his tried and trusted, tact, uh, trusted tactic. And again, it will be sod's law and typical Wolves for us to go and beat Arsenal midweek. Um, but today just was poor again. Adama came on towards the end at right wing back. And he just he added that little bit more urgency and, and pace. Uh, but again, he, he slowed, well, I say urgency, he slowed the game down too much. As soon as he gets the ball, he's got to just be running at Van Arnold. He had him twice. Um, uh, he's got to be doing a little bit 
more for me. You just got to get the ball and, and and drive at him a little bit more. Get yourself into the area and test that defense a little bit more. You look on paper, that's arguably one of the worst defenses in the league, Crystal Palace. And Wolves just have not tested them enough at all. Um, but I'm really disappointed by the likes of Matinho and Dendonka today. So Mado had such a, a strange game at left wing back as well. Um, he had okay moments, but again, at times... He got caught out a little bit, but I think that was just the nature of him obviously bombing up the pitch. Um, I felt he could have been whipping the ball in a little bit more in that in at the start of the second half. He got himself in good areas from deep and a little bit of space to maybe whip it onto William Jose, but he didn't do that enough. Um, I thought Kilman was all right. I thought Kilman for me was a pick of the players who just seemed composed on the ball, wanted to get the ball and drive us up the pitch a little bit. Uh, I, I did think he was okay. Cody. <sighs> It's it's a strange one, Cody as well. The chance where um, they countered and it was a two on one. I felt Cody defended it very well up until the ball got into the box and he just turned so slowly to allow Crystal Palace to get the shot away. But as a whole, I thought the the wingers were so quiet again. Pedence, um I felt was was quite ineffective. Unfortunately, uh, just too much sloppiness and it has to be addressed and it has to be sorted for Wolves. We have to get more energy in that middle of the pitch because the last two games, even against Chelsea, I know we held on for a nil-nil draw. It just looks like we were dominated in that area. Um, so, poor game, poor result. And again, waiting for another league win. It's been a long time and Wolves need to get that sooner rather than later. I'm hoping over the next couple of days or so I can give you a transfer update with some new players because... Yeah, it, it, things it's just not filling me it's filling me with much confidence, these performances at the moment. But uh, let me know your thoughts, guys, in the comment section down below, what you thought about the game. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And until next time, I'll see you all very, very soon.